awesome people, I'm Ellie Awesome and welcome back to the best free apps of the month series. That's right, it's 2015 and it's pretty much February so I hope you all had a great start to the year in January. Now this month I have chosen to feature apps that you guys have suggested so thank you for your comments and I'm so happy that Isaac Mathis has commented with this suggestion of Smash the Office which you're seeing here. This game is ridiculously awesome, it's so much fun. Basically, the whole game is just about smashing as much stuff as you can in the office. And there's heaps of different power-ups. As you can see, I just got a power-up with a spin attack. There is even a power-up for a giant mushroom, much like on Mario, that allows you to get bigger and smash more stuff. And you basically just try to get into as many different rooms as you can and smash it. You collect coins, which then enable you to get different weapons and accessories. And that's really the aim, is just to have fun smashing things. And then you can get cool accessories and um, unlock different levels and chapters, I guess. There's also a first-person shooter mode, but you have to collect a lot of coins to unlock that. But I'm really looking forward to getting there. So thank you, Isaac, for your comment uh, letting me know about this game's existence. It is Seriously, amazing. <laughs> but next up we have Bouncing Slime and thank you to Emily Fuller for suggesting this one. It is pretty much like the Impossible game. I think that's what it was called or Geom Geom Geometry Wars, Ge <laughs> Geometry Wars, where you have one uh, touch controls and you have to precisely tap uh, so you can avoid falling down, hitting a spike, you know, that kind of thing. You can see what's going on here. So it's one of those ones where you have to really be focused. And uh, if you love those games, then this is awesome. Of course, I have to mention the pixel graphics. They look great. <laughs> Giant Boulder of Death was suggested by David Lyons Gaming, and thank you because I forgot about this game. I had played it a few years ago now, but uh, this is so much fun. You control this giant boulder rolling down the hill, and uh, you can use tap controls, tilt controls, whatever. I'm using tap, so tap side to side to move the boulder, and you tap in the middle to jump. Basically, you just have to avoid the spikes and try to knock down as much stuff as you can and to roll as far as you can. It is it's pretty fun. It's not like an endless runner type thing, even though it probably looks like that. You have a lot more control, I think, and yeah, it's it's a pretty fun game. I love those graphics too. This is like a really cool geometric -y art style. <laughs> This game was so hard to record because of its tilt controls, but it is a lot like Happy Wheels, but a bit more of a dodgy version, but it's still pretty good. Thanks, Emily, again, for suggesting this one. It's called Super Unicycle. Just check it out. It's too hard to record, so we'll just move on. And lastly, thank you, Bryce Dorsey, for suggesting Harmony. This game is actually really awesome. I wasn't sure if I'd like it. I'm not a massive puzzle games fan, but this really is a beautiful puzzle game. Basically, you hold down on the little button in the middle there at the, at the bottom, and you see what the pattern is that you need to recreate and then you can tap the tiles to sort of maneuver them around the screen to uh, switch places with one another and recreate that pattern. Usually it's just three straight colors as you can see on screen but it is it's challenging at some points but it's also a very relaxing game. So anyway if you like beautiful looking puzzle games this is certainly the one for you and if you have any awesome free games that are for Android or iOS please let me know about them. Um, please yeah, tell me what they are because at the moment I have been struggling to find games that you guys haven't seen before um, because I've been doing this series for about three or four years, I think, maybe since 2011. So let's say three years. And yeah, I feel like I've covered almost all the apps out there that are actually good, <laughs> that are free. So anyway, let me know your suggestions. Thank you for watching as usual. I will hopefully see you again next month. And bye.